when my husband and I acquired this farm, we um, acquired it from my father-in-law, my husband's father. He grew up here. And um, in about 1999, my parents went back on a plant collecting tour to Uzbekistan and came back here and planted an orchard up here on the hill. Um, this orchard thrived and succeeded, so we wanted to expand. So we decided to go down and expand down on some of the farm ground. We have some, some rocky fields that weren't very productive for other crops and thought this would be an ideal place for an orchard and be wonderful to expand on some of my father's plant breeding ideas and, and try some of these plants and be adapted to this area and see what we could grow here. Um, you know, my husband's great-grandfather had had an orchard in Thatcher. We thought this would be an ideal location for an orchard up here on this rocky side hill. <laughs> and so um, we um, planted the trees. The first year we planted them, we were watering these trees with a, a tank in the back of a pickup truck, hand watering these. This is not very efficient. We did not have very good survival rate with the trees. We were looking into getting a, a better system of irrigating these, had talked to some people. Um, we basically came to the NRCS because we had some questions, had gotten some conflicting advice from different companies and went in for just some advice on you know what's really going to work up here and just found them very helpful, got involved to them. You know, they designed this amazing drip system that's worked just wonderful, keeping these trees going. You know, since we've installed the drip system, we have tremendous survival rate on the trees we plant. When we first started working with Petersons, they were pumping water up here from the canal, and so obviously energy is a, a big cost to them. And so they wanted something efficient, which the drip system is very efficient. And so we were able to help put in this filter system to filter the canal water and then we distribute the water out through the drip system. And in our office, we do quite a few drip systems. To, the efficiency is really big. The orchard growers, they like the, the efficient water. They want to get their trees watered and water them up on hills for the good drainage. And it's probably just the best way to water trees is the drip system. As you can see, Peterson planted some cover crop here. In our county, that's been really hard to, to sell, I guess. Uh, most of the orchards down in around Perry and Willard, they, they till between their rows. And so we were pretty excited when Petersons were willing to put in a cover crop. And, you know, obviously that helps protect the soil from any wind erosion or, or water erosion. This uh, area here has a longer growing season than we do up in Dayton especially. And uh, we can mature trees faster over here, which gives us a big advantage as plant breeders. And uh, so it's an excellent place to grow fruit trees and nut trees, including pistachios and almonds. We have access to uh, pistachios from throughout Central Asia, including some areas with hard winters. And, uh, so we've demonstrated that uh, we can grow pistachios here. We just need to make some improvement. Our best pistachio tree uh, doesn't split the nuts. And the general people like to have 100% split of nuts. We uh, want to make that improvement along with uh, keeping the winter hardiness of the best uh, Asian material. We have gotten the kids involved with this program. We have big debates at supper time, which is a bigger pest, weeds or rocks. You know, and they say weeds grow back, and we decided that rocks do too. <laughs> so, um, but it, it's really good to work out there as a family, you know, and, and do these kind of things. I think really builds a bond. You know, I've, there's a quote that says, you know, we have not what inherited this land from our parents, we are low, borrowed it from our children. You know, I think we have an obligation to take care of this land so that we can pass on something forth to our children.